In this video tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to use animations to bring in meaning and life into your videos. Okay, this is in Camtasia Studio 2022, the latest version. So once you open your Camtasia latest version, you can import some media so that you can experience or you can follow along through this tutorial. So assuming I've imported a media, I've imported this video and I've dragged it into the timeline, you can see it over here. And I want to insert something like an intro into the, the timeline and then try to see how I can play around with it by adding some key animations in. I can just come down here and do what we call the ripple move by just holding on the shift key and dragging on the playhead and moving it to the sides just like so and i can now start by bringing in some text now to bring in some text you have to come to annotations and you can select this very basic text you can just easily drag and drop it and you can just move it or extend it a little bit to fill up this gap so you can have it covered everything okay so you can come down here all right, so once you come down here, you can see the text and you can double click over here to start writing the text. So assuming I want to put a pigmentorship here. Okay, so you can extend so it just fill up the entire box and you can move it to the center just like so. And you have the option to check around the properties, the basic properties on the properties panel for properties such as the font style you can have the Montserrat right now but I usually go for the American typewriter which is uh, quite fantastic and which is what I usually used to use and then you can check around the coloration you can put in any coloration or if you have the hex code you can easily uh, apply that to this as well and then you can play around with the sizing right now I think I like it at this size you can increase or decrease the sizing you can do a lot with the alignment you can align left align right align center and any way you like it you can play around with the vertical and the horizontal spacing over here and then you can have the font and other auto features over here to play around with so assuming i'm starting and i'm comfortable with this i just want to add the properties in terms of the animations all i need is just to go ahead and start at the animation so you could usually you can find the animations over here and there are a range of them but what i usually do i start with the basic custom animations okay so what i want is i want this text to come in from the edges over here and then comes in into the center and then moves out quickly okay so i want to put this as an intro into my video so let's say at the beginning i take it to the beginning uh, over here to the extreme edge and then I, I, I insert the animations I just drag and drop it. Now what this animation does is it gives a meaning to what I want to put. Okay, so usually once you have it inside, it doesn't do anything until you carry out an action after you inserted it. Okay, so you can see the animation button. If you double click it anywhere, it will take you to the end of the animation. Just like so, you just double click and it's going to take you to the end of it. So the length of it determines the behavior length okay how long should it stay whatever behavior you have defined is going to take effect from the beginning to the end of the animation okay so this is the length of the animation the period is going to be effective and then you can make it shorter or longer accordingly and you can drag it and move it to the beginning or to the end or to the middle as you so wish within the timeline or within the media that you've just selected okay so let's say after putting this animation you can see it does nothing until i move something within the, the canvas now wherever you are you can affect this condition whether you are before the animation or after the animation once you just insert that animation and then you move that particular uh, media that's going to be the effect that it's going to carry so assuming i'm here and then i try to move this text directly into the center i move it until it comes to the center then it stops okay now we can preview this if you want so you can see what i'm trying to say okay so you can go back and just try to play it and you can see the impact how it starts and then it moves quickly until it gets to the center okay so this is the impact let me do that one more time so you can see it just moves in pretty slowly and until it gets to the center so this is the effect but then you can increase or decrease the length of the speed of which this text comes in so if you shorten this for example you make it shorter and then you bring it closer 
you can see it's going to be a bit faster and it's going to take shorter period for the animation so you just start just like so and you can see it moves a bit faster okay so this is the in the beginning it comes in and then i may want it to stay on the screen or on the canvas until it gets to this place then i want it to move out okay so how do i want it to move out i can insert another custom animation over here to start from this point and end at this point and what did i want it to do i want it to move out just like so so i want it to move out to the right so you can just drag it and move it to the right okay so let's have a preview again and see what's just affected so you just it comes in just like so and then it stays on the screen for some time maybe for the period where i want to finish my experiment then it goes out okay so you can see the process it comes in and then it goes out so you can move it even closer if you don't want it to stay much longer can bring it closer and then to just come in and then move out so just like something like that comes in and then moves out i think that pretty looks fantastic so there are a number of things number of effects you can play around with with the animation for example if you select any given animation you have the properties over here okay so the range of properties that you can play around with um you can right click on any animation and you can cut that animation and put it somewhere else you can move it to another feature another text or another image or something like that and then still on the right click you can change the duration of the of the animation you can do that manually it right now is set to one second you can increase it on your own or decrease it accordingly as you so wish and you can see the preview as you are increasing or decreasing uh, from the bottom over here so you can increase or decrease the timeline and once you hit ok the duration becomes effective ok so this is about this and then you can still right click and say animating you can animate usually i put it at exponential but you're free to bring it to bounce you can bounce out you can spring or you can say none or you can put it on automatic which is usually the default but on my own case i usually want it at exponential in and exponential out so you can define the features accordingly as you so wish anyhow you want it and you can hide the properties also if you want from here so there are a number of things you can add to your animation as you so wish okay as you move in and uh, you'll be able to preview at any given point to be able to see the behavior and see what it does and what and what you can make better so that your video can appear dramatic and professional so other animations that you can put as the scale i usually like to put in the scaling at some point maybe when you are playing with your video you may want to scale up to something okay you can just uh, maybe you want to scale at this point okay you want to scale at this point and see yourself much bigger so you can just go ahead drag the scaling up okay scaling up and you can scale down also if you want you can scale up just like so you can just drag i want it to scale up at this point and you can check out the scaling okay this is predefined you can check out the scaling this is at 23.3 percent you can increase it if you want okay this is scale of 123 this is 123 percent you can increase it if you want uh, you can make it bigger and then you can define also the exact location how you want it okay so when you have a preview you will see that it was just going to give you that effect but the question up. is but the question so it stays at geld up okay now if you want it to scale down also you can do that manually or you can drag the scale down feature you can just drag it and drop it okay so you can see it's now scaled down to 100 you can see it's scaled down to 100 okay so you can check and take a look at the preview if you want but the question is but the question is i think this kind of looks perfect if you want to scale it up to beyond that or you want to scale it down usually if i don't put it to scale down or if you want to scale it down but without the default one the inbuilt one i can as well put the custom scaling for example at this point you can delete this and then you can put custom scaling over here and once it gets here you can see maybe you can bring everything back to default and it does the same thing okay so you, you can see it scales mm -hmm. up but the question is up, then by default but the question there, is it scales down 
okay same way so the key thing here is for you to be able to understand the behavior of the animation how you can alter the properties of any animation tool that you've inserted okay but properties panel should always be your friend in terms of what you need to edit what you need to add to have a fantastic animation so this is about animating text and putting some animation in your video to appear much more professional and for videos to look nice and interesting. I think that does it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.